What could make you stop rooting for the Knicks? Because I got to believe you got to be close to not wanting to root for them. Well, I mean, the heart does what the heart does. So I'll never not, they'll never not be my favorite team. And I'll never not have like a, an, an emotional connection to them. I'm pretty close to, 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 to not being in, invested because I'll be honest, it started with the Charles Smith thing. <laughs> That, that's when I started, like, if I was, like, a, if we were married, that's when the I started looking around. At other women? At other women. Other teams. Other women, other teams, yeah. other guys, whatever you want, however you want to, you know, okay. mix it up. Because of the pain. Um, so, it, it, I'm always going to root for the Knicks, but as a fan of the sport, like, you know, I, I, I got a lot of flack because I was really, really, really pushing and rooting for Golden State to win, as if... The season and, and being a fan of basketball ends when the Knicks stop playing, which is always going to be earlier than <laughs> most teams. Yeah. So so that being said, I mean, I don't think I'll ever not. They'll always be my favorite team. I grew up here, right here in Manhattan. You can't take that away. What would you say if Phil Jackson walked in right now? I would say the, the biggest thing with the Phil, Phil Jackson thing for me is the public disrespect of Carmelo. Whether he's right, whether he's wrong, whether Carmelo holds the ball too long, whether he's not the star that they're paying him to be, the public disrespect, the 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 the, the, the tweeting, what, what what good is it? Have a conversation with him. You don't need to air him out. If Carmelo's flawed as a player, it doesn't mean anything. And also, where were you when Derrick Rose disappeared? And where were you during the Oakley situation? We wanted to hear from you. We, we, don't, we, didn't, we didn't want to hear from James Dolan. We want to hear from you. You're Phil Jackson. Are you aware what you mean to us? Are you aware how you can sort of cool our temperament by having communication with the fans, not just communicating when you feel like it? And then when you communicate, the big thing that you're doing is bashing our star player, whether he's uh, everything he's cracked up to be or not. You signed him. You did the contract for you to publicly disrespect him like that. I've never seen it. I mean, let me ask you. You're an expert. McLovin, you wear glasses. Have you ever seen a, a president of a, a team, whether it's football, um, basketball, or baseball, publicly diss a guy like that at the end of the season when it means nothing, who's done nothing wrong, um, like he's not like he's a, a criminal or anything like that? What good are you doing it? And I was proud of Porzingis for not showing up to the closeout meeting. He should get praised for that. He figured it out in two years, what some people take 10 years to figure out. This is, this like to, to, to quote the great Michael Ray Richardson, this ship be sinking. Porzingis <laughs> figured that out in two years. But you, why does Porzingis want to stay here when he sees what management's going <laughs> to Carmelo Anthony? You, you could be upset. You could be frustrated. You could not want to have a closeout meeting and still want to stay here. Just like I could be a fan, love the Knicks, and be critical. You know, just like it's, a, it's like you want things to be better. You know, I've gotten flack because I speak now and I, and I, and I talk... You know, I pop, I can't say S word. I talk crap about the Knicks. And then it's like, I'm not being a loyal fan. Like, eh, eh, what are we, we're not in a relationship. And if we're in a relationship, uh, me not speaking out uh, is crazy. And if we're in a relationship, I've been emotionally abused. Yeah. The fans have been emotionally abused. So it's like, you can love the team, want the team to do well, and still be very, very openly frustrated and critical. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.